In this section, we will take a close look at tools for building, showing, and sharing presentations. Using online presentation tools allows you the opportunity to create presentations that are visually engaging and multidimensional. Online presentations are incredibly helpful because they allow you to be virtually present even when you cannot be there physically. Create a presentation and then send links to your intended audience so they can watch it at their leisure. You can also narrate online presentations via voice recordings. To make your online presentation more accessible, you can add captioning and transcripts. But no matter if you're delivering your presentation face-to-face, -face, at a distance, or at a different time, you will want to avoid some common mistakes made in presentations. For example, make sure any text and images you include will be large enough to read. In a face-to-face -face presentation, consider the size of the room and the size of the screen. Make sure the audience members in the back of the room can read your slides. And if you are presenting online, make sure your slides are readable on smaller devices such as iPhones. Colors and contrast will also affect your audience's ability to read your information. For instance, yellow text on a white background is hard to read, but yellow text on a black background is much easier to read. The next common mistake is too much text. When you have too much text on a slide, your audience attention is split between trying to listen to you or reading the slides. One rule you may want to keep in mind is seven by seven. Keep your slides to seven lines of text or less with no more than seven words per line or less. A third common mistake is poor visuals. Use images that have something to do with your content. For example, if you are talking about something that is data heavy, add a graph to help your audience digest the data. Or if you want to transport your audience to a different location, use a photograph. And because people are used to high definition visual images, avoid using clip art or low resolution images. One of the most challenging aspects of creating a presentation is attempting to find images that are not copyrighted and that are legal to use. Explore the Creative Commons section in Module 1 to learn more about using other people's images in an ethical way. Now that you know how to put together an effective presentation, we can move on to tools and software you can incorporate to make your presentations more interactive for your audience. One example of a tool that you can integrate into your presentation is polling. Polls can be built into a presentation where you ask your participants a question and get instant feedback. Participants can then see how their answers compare with the rest of the audience. Your participants will be able to use smart devices in participating in a poll. Collaborative presentation tools are most helpful when working in groups or when you are required to collaborate with a team. Many presentation apps and software allow you to share editing and creation responsibility with a group of people. Another tool you may want to explore is non-traditional presentations. These presentations allow you to present information in a different way than from slide to slide. For instance, you can move in and out of areas in a diagram. Check out some of the great tools featured in this section for creating your next presentation.